wrote a joke recently. The joke goes like this. What is a superhero with no villain? He is an alcoholic with a divorce suit. In fact, I put raging alcoholic. Do you get what I'm saying here? Everything in life is in your life specifically for a reason. Sometimes it's a good reason, sometimes it's a bad reason, but every dynamic, every aspect, every relationship in your life is there for a very specific reason. Dynamics, five dynamics. One, we are hurt. And this obviously doesn't include uh, the good reasons. This is the bad reasons why we have uh, various people and such in our lives. We are hurt. Number two, a wound is created out of our hurt. Number three, something fills it. God knows what. It's very interesting. A little child really isn't very uh, discriminating in terms of what he brings in his life or her life. That is why we need good parents. Those of you who are listening to tapes on bad parenting, get rid of those. Stop it. Your child needs good parenting. He will take anything and put it in his life to fill a particular void. And, and your kid will get hurt. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody has voids. It is for parents to make sure the kid, the child, is uh, dealing with the situation in a way that's going to help him get through life. So we are hurt. A wound is created. Number three, something fills it. Number four, this is justified. And number five, we develop a pattern. We develop an idiom. We develop a life around uh, the justification of uh, the new dynamic that's in place. Point. The point here is when you rip away at an addiction, God knows what's going to happen. God knows what is going to take its place. Our addictions are in our life for a reason. I was talking to this young man very recently, and he is a former alcoholic. He is, I guess, apparently you're still an alcoholic, but now he is a dry alcoholic. And guess what? His heart was as hard as a rock. The alcoholism possibly, maybe it could have been dealt with over a period of time, but maybe it should have been moderated or something. Because that's what happens. You do not know when you take something that's deeply rooted in your life and you rip it out of your life, you don't know what kind of pattern, what kind of other addiction is going to come in to take its place. Sometimes we are left with addictions far greater than the ones that are taken care of. How do we deal with addictions? Five dynamics. One, we find love. As opposed to find somebody who is going to surgically or otherwise remove a part of our personhood. We find love. Secondly, we follow it in humility. Humility allows us to see everything that's going on around us. Thirdly, it leads you to people and places where you learn. Fourthly, you learn. And fifthly, we slowly change. Fact of the matter is what we learned about addictions for the most part does not work. The reason why we are taught to deal with addictions in a certain way, aka have them uh, torn out of our life, is because basically people don't really love each other a whole lot. Hence, they do not have the power of love in their lives. Hence, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. We can change our patterns. We can do it very lovingly and with kindness and gentleness. But it takes true spirituality. Embrace love. Love is not simply a feeling. In fact, that's just about the last thing love is. Love is a way of life. Love is a way of transforming your life. Love is a way of taking your addictions and either bring them into a place of moderation or possibly eventually uh, completely unequivocally get rid of them. Uh, there's, there's many, many dynamics. There's many, many ways love can potentially take care of your addictions. But it will, and it won't leave you in a mess. This is Stu Strang, the love guru. Have a good day.